Have you ever had one of those days? If so, you'll relate. Hi everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal and I've been running around like a you-know-what today. Um, I'm going to drop in a little bit of video here of how my cars looked a couple of hours ago. It's dead car day. So as you can see, I had it all ready and towed to the shop and I went with it. Now my shop is probably a good half an hour away from me, the one that I use. And by the way, this incredible lighting that you see, the sun is setting and reflecting off me and my jacket. So I'm sure the red looks really great right now. Very Christmassy, right? <laughs> anyway, so I got, I had to go with my car because I needed to pick up a loaner from the shop. And I got, I was driving home. And as I was driving home, I suddenly realized there wasn't any gas worth talking about in the loaner, which is very unusual. They normally make sure it has at least a quarter of a tank in it. So <laughs> the next thing was that I had to get to a gas station. And then, of course, with my luck, I then ended up in a huge traffic jam um, where I sat idling. And, you know, you're sitting there idling going, I just hope that the fumes last long enough. <laughs> you know, because you know you don't have more than a thimble full of gas in there and you're idling on a loner. <laughs> you know. But I thought I would give you um, an interesting perspective here. By the way, if ever you get a loner car or you borrow somebody's car, you know, for whatever reason, as I did uh, earlier in the week, it's a really good idea to take a picture of the license plate. immediately. The reason is you're going to find that you somebody's going to ask you for that number when you least expect it. And if you've got it in your phone, it makes it so much easier. Just a tip for the day on that one, if ever you have a hire car or a loaner or yeah, whatever. Take a picture of the license plate before you get in. Now, what you're probably noticing is you've got the same angle and everything else as usual, which means I'm back in my own car. It is now... Oh, let's see what the time is now. Somebody's turned something off here. There we go. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, I know what happened. I'll explain that in a second. It's now 3.30. Okay, so it's three and a half hours since I took the car in. I just got home. I just made a cup of coffee and was sitting down. I was probably halfway through my coffee when the shop called and said, you can come and get your car. This is after I just put 30 bucks worth of gas into it. You can come and get your car. I said, why? What, what happened? And they said, well, we checked it out, and you had a dead cell in your battery. Now, the interesting thing is that the uh, car towing service you know, could have replaced a battery, but here's the interesting thing. I'm glad I didn't go that route because the battery I had in had a two-year warranty on it, no questions asked. So they replaced it and everything was working again. Except, of course, now my clock's all wrong, which means I've got to reset that. So Monday came and went very quickly. <laughs> with absolutely zero accomplishment in my view. Well, no, that's not true. I got the problem fixed on my car. That's an accomplishment. 
but I left 30 bucks worth of gas in a loaner car and just said, you know, wish the guy a happy Christmas. Whoever you give it to next, tell them I wish them a Merry Christmas. And now I'm looking at my car and guess what I need fuel. <laughs> Some days are like that, aren't they? Thank you.